Hello. Oh, hi. Hi. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah, this is awesome. I, I never had a Muppet in the store before. I'm sorry? A what? I, 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 what what'd you call me? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, I said Muppet? I am not a Muppet. The Muppets are trademark characters owned by Disney, previously owned by the Jim Henson Company, created by Jim Henson. Do I look like I was created by Jim Henson? Uh, I, I guess not. Well, I was not. I'm not a Muppet. I'm a monster. Please, please get it right. Okay. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. All right. Can I, um, rent this Muppet movie? Sure. All right. Kermit Swap Years. Oh, yeah. Um, interesting choice. But it's, it's the best one. Mm. Everyone agrees. Mm. Yeah. Hey, guys, we're here today to talk about the exciting new game Eagle Island, developed by Pixel Nix and published by our company, Screenwave Media. The gameplay is impeccable. That's right. We put together a trailer for you, so check it out. It's on the Nintendo Switch and on Steam, so go get it today. You throw birds at people, like this. Oh! You're my destiny When tomorrow comes out We'll be close to you So, um, you a big fan of the Muppets? Um, uh, yeah, yeah. A yeah. little bit? Decent fan, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah definitely love the, um, the Muppet films, the Muppet show, uh, the Muppet babies, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah, I, yeah. They yeah. brought that back. They did. I heard it's good. Yeah, my, uh, my daughter's a big fan of Muppet yeah. babies, yeah. <laughs> oh, good. Yeah. Um, and actually, it's a shame, this is, um, we, we recorded a bunch of, uh, videos, and the only one that was appropriate for me to have on in the living room was the only one I couldn't watch in the living room because this is not streaming anywhere. So this was, I could only watch it on the computer. Yeah, they, oh, yeah. they took it off Amazon and I have no idea why. <laughs> huh. I have a few ideas, but... Oh, uh, yeah? Oh, okay, yeah. I guess we'll get okay, to that. Okay, maybe, yeah, but... maybe it wasn't entirely appropriate, <laughs> yeah. but... Yeah. Mm, but... And we, we must note, it is rated G. Which it, has it, carries certain standards. Mm -hmm. Not a lot of movies are rated G. Well, you know what's also rated G is Dracula has risen from the grave. <laughs> really? I mean, you can look at that right here, see? Wow. Rated G, <laughs> and this movie has impaling, blood gushing out of the eyes. It's just... Who, how, how did that happen? I don't know. I have <laughs> no idea. I mean, well, somebody, never mind then. Yeah. Apparently anything could be rated G. You said you like, you mm -hmm. know, the Muppets, and you saw the Muppet movie in 1979, right? It was one of the first movies I ever saw, yeah. Well, that's great, because in 2002, they made the sequel, Kermit Swamp Years. Prequel. Prequel, prequel. Yeah, 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 prequel. prequel. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So this is about Kermit in his uh, younger age, where he's trying to get out of the swamp. He wants to see what the rest of the world is like, of course. Which doesn't make and, sense, because um, it's called Kermit Swamp Years, but he's barely in the swamp. Not yeah. that much. It um, also kind of retcons a little bit of what they talk about in the first Muppet movie, where that was really him getting out. Mm. So I do not like that. Oh. I need continuity in my Muppet projects. And then he has a friend named Goggles who gets kidnapped by a pet store owner. Yeah. And, oh, yeah, uh, there's Goggles and uh, Croker. Croker. Yeah. yeah, and then the the what's the big one's name? I don't remember the big one's name, but uh, the, yeah. but the big one looks like a battle toad, which yeah. is really weird. Yeah. Oh, Blotch. 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 The, that's the, it. Yeah. The bully bullfrog. Huh. That's not, you know it's like pimple zit rash Blotch. Yeah. It's yeah. a battle toad. That's wow, very fitting. battle toads. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It not, not only was this direct to video, it was direct to stars. Ooh. So it just mm. went Fancy. right. <laughs> it went right to stars. Steve Whitmire as Kermit, mm -hmm. uh, which is great to have him in, in all these. Um, Horace is the CG bug. Um, oh, the CG bug is so awful. Excellent yeah. role. Excellent. Oh, Academy mm -hmm. Award winning stuff. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Arnie the alligator who comes back in this one. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, he he was in the original Muppet movie. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's a you know a good reference they got there. Yeah, he chased down Deloise. <laughs> Pilgrim the dog. 
My favorite character. <laughs> Which is, okay, Pilgrim the Dog is a realistic dog. Not, not like Rolf, mm-hmm. you know. Who, who, mm-hmm. So it's kind of weird that you have like yeah. these realistic dogs. And then there's a realistic pig, too. And Kermit is like, like, oh, I hope I never meet one of these again. You know, uh, it's like these, like... It raises yeah. a lot of questions. Yeah, there's so many jokes where you're just like, uh... Mm, yeah. But it's also weird that, there, like, there's a dog, like, there's a brown dog at the, at the, that comes to the pet store for one mm-hmm. second, and that dog's name's Rolf, too. He's yeah. like, oh, hey, Rolf. And it's like, wait, now there's two Rolfs? One's a real dog and one's a Muppet? I think somebody needs to do, like, a continuity, like, a timeline thing of all these. Well, okay, here's the thing. Are we allowed to, like, skip ahead in the story? We sure. Can jump yep. around. There, there, there's, a, there's, a, there's a section... Where uh, there's like a kid and he, I don't know, he sees Kermit or something, and then like the camera really obviously frames it so that you can see Henson on the box, and mm-hmm. he's like, hmm. And I think they even dubbed in the hmm. Was, was I alone okay. there? Yeah. And then the camera goes boom right on the mailbox, <laughs> like as though we hadn't seen it. So it's like, is this saying that all of the Muppets are influenced by this mm. whole thing, and this isn't an actual account? Huh. It, it's hmm. weird because it feels that way, even though that's not, that doesn't really make sense. It's, it, the movie's really weird because they mm-hmm. show. Like, like, like the Muppets in general are weird because you don't know if yeah, the yeah, animals yeah. are actual animals or if they're actual Muppets. Mm-hmm. And this movie has like humans that are Muppets, but they're already in society. But animals yeah. have never spoken before. There's human humans, and then there's humans like the hecklers, the um, the uh, Waldorf, and what's the other guy's name? Stadler. Hey, Stadler. Mm-hmm. I'm sure glad the frog put us in his movie. Why? So people can see how young we look? No, so we don't have to watch it. Oh! <laughs> and um, they show them it as their younger selves. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But they and also they're... show like two turtles who are kind of like them too. Hey, choke a little quiet over there. I thought you lost your hearing. Of course I'd love some herring, but who could eat with all that noise? <laughs> It's like they just put everything into a bucket and just pick things out. Like, yeah, I, I mean, it, it's weird because it's like, Muppets just, it doesn't matter if it's a monster or an animal or whatever, like, they talk. That's what they do. That's just how that universe is. So the fact that they, because there's a whole thing where like, oh, frogs don't talk. Like, animals don't talk. Yeah. Just like we've seen in a lot of movies. Mm-hmm. So it's like, now that you've drawn attention to that fact, like, the fact, you know, like, it's been consistent in mm. its inconsistency. Yeah. If that makes sense? Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Now that you're like, oh, there's a whole thing where, like, some of them talk and some don't. Yeah, yeah. Like, now it's confusing. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You've upset the the continuum. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The so, canon. So, yeah. I guess we'll go back. So, Kermit is in the swamp, and he hates it. So, him and his friends, like you said before, Croker and Goggles, they have to leave. And more inconsistencies, they've never seen a car before, right? Mm-hmm. They call I think they call it um, a red, a red shiny beast, right? Mm-hmm. But that's confusing because when Croker gets run over, they know that the pattern on his chest is a tire pattern. They know what a tire is, but they don't know what a, a like the, like. <laughs> and, and, and not only that, Goggles is wow. wearing glasses. Where do you get glasses from if they've never left the swamp? And is then there, after that, they know. Wow. What a truck is right. You know what's like interesting? You get hit by a truck, and you know what it is. Maybe people are illegally dumping in the swamp, so they're leaving tires and glasses okay, and plastic. Yeah. I could see mm-hmm. that. This movie has a lot to do with environmentalism, I think. Yeah, yeah. No, we were talking about that. There's a, there's a lot of like deep seated symbolism in this. <laughs> you know what could have saved this movie? I think is the um the uh, the pet store owner. I mean, I know he wasn't alive at the time, but it would have been nice if Jim Varney played him. Oh, that's what I said. The same thing. It felt like a Jim Varney role. It no, did. totally. I felt that too. Like yeah. no joke. Like that, that guy was weird. Like he, it felt like it was a cameo. Mm. Like something about the way that he acted. I was yeah. like, oh, that's like a country singer, right? No, it's I don't think weird. it is. Huh. It's just a guy. Okay. So, so Kermit's about to leave the swamp or whatever, and he's with his family and his mom, and he's singing to the sky like he usually does. Either it's a moon or a star. And mm. Kermit's mom is pretty much like. I don't care if you don't follow your dreams, you suck. Go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. It's like so Stop mean. Stop singing about stars and go to bed. Yeah. I don't just like, I thought she was going to come out and be like, be true to yourself. Oh, yeah, maybe you should. <laughs> yeah, words of wisdom. No, it's go to bed. <laughs> go to bed. <laughs> Stop so, yeah. looking at stars, dummy. <laughs> and then uh, a bunch of butt jokes happen. They so show, many butt jokes. Oh, like, my like gosh. Rapid yeah, fire. Yeah, yeah. He uh, um, goggles, moons. The bullfrog bully, uh, Blotch. Kind of yeah. like a number of times. Twice yeah, all in a row. Twice in a row, yeah, yeah. 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 Kid, kids, kids love butt jokes, right? You know what? I mean, y- yeah. So that was like the first little inkling of it becoming inappropriate. But then... But then... The dissection scene. Now, oh, we're oh, going to the end wait, of the movie. Do you do we, it? We, we, we need to like set oh, it up, though. Yeah, let's set this up. All right, up. let's set so this there, up. There's the bad guy. 
He's a. Uh, we we learn that he is a ninth grade science teacher. Mm -hmm. It is yeah. his goal in life, his whole entire goal, to dissect as many frogs as possible. Yeah. Like you, you see, like near the end, you see like the schedule on the wall, mm -hmm. and it's just yeah. every it's just every dissection, day kill frogs, and yeah. then lunch, and then dissect frogs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> which is which is pretty weird because the whole movie you assume that he's like an actual scientist, scientist, and he's doing something for like. I don't know, like real science biologies, but no, he's just a science teacher at a high school. So they make Which all is these... not a bad gag. Yeah, because they make all these jokes like, oh, he's he's from George Washington, George Washington. Well, it's George Washington High School, yeah. not like some bigger thing. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Yeah, yeah. I, I didn't, and, and then when the, the the car lights up the sign and you see it's a high school, and you're like, oh, this guy's a high school that, teacher. That's a great shot. Cause that's it, not a bad. That's not a bad gag. Because they show like the pet store guy brings the frogs that they've captured mm -hmm. including you know some of the friends and stuff and they drop off in front of the building and then when the guy's truck the Jim Varney guy fake Jim Varney guy's trucks moves the headlights they expose the George Washington high school and I was like wow that's a really well planned out shot for a movie that's awful <laughs> and has a CG bug that scats you know <laughs> you know scats like scuba da ba da ba I'm a scat man scuba da ba da ba da ba ba da ba da ba scuba da ba da ba da ba scuba da ba da ba da ba you know, it starts off okay. Like, it, I mean, well, aside from the weird CG bug, which doesn't fit in anything else in the movie, oh, but not, um, not just that, the bugs flying around singing, and it's showing the like the, the names of like the director, yeah, yeah. and a tongue blows apart the name of the director. Have you I, ever seen that in a movie before? Oh. The director's <laughs> name just explodes. <laughs> Hmm. Are we getting into this dissection? Are we, are we going there? <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, so the the, the, yeah, the frogs fun. the frogs go from the the swamp to a pet store, and all these stupid things happen. Not even and, worth talking about. And then they eventually end up at George Washington High School. Yeah. So they're they're in this this uh, class, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Um. So they're in this class, and the the professor is going through this like dissection thing about like how to dissect a frog, or whatever, and like all the. You know, the Muppet characters are all like, uh, like, well, sort of like psychotically. Yeah, like, he's like, gonna really enjoy it. Like, we first we'll make an incision below the whatever yeah. inches below the thorax, yeah. and then we'll take out the organs. Just and, talking yeah. about evisceration. Yeah, in a and you know, like we've just, met these oh, frogs. Yeah. Oh, just talking about here's You're the not thing. Just, it, it, well, 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 this is the first part. So th when this happens, it's like I was already yeah. thinking, okay, this is a little weird that they're talking about this. Then it cuts to this like flashback of yeah. this doctor about to dissect this frog, and this poor frog is like strapped up, and it's shot. It's like in a this... nightmare room. Yeah, it's yeah. just like dark, yeah, dark and, and lighting. Guess... It's like a scene from Saw. Stop! What did you say? I said stop. And I guess yeah. the other kids in the class are like, ha ha, you won't dissect the frog, you're afraid, you're afraid mm -hmm. to call him like froggy face or yeah, something? Yeah, well, 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 here's the thing, like, the frog doesn't like scream or yell or beg for his life, he just goes, stop. stop. <laughs> and it's like, it's scary, like you feel it, and he's like, what did you say? I said stop. And that's like all he says. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then like everyone makes fun of him because he's talking to frogs. Right. And then what happens? It cuts back to him and he says, I had to prove to them that I'm not a froggy face. He eviscerated that frog. Oh, and, and, he and hundreds it. and hundreds of other frogs. Yeah, he said I had to prove for years that I wasn't. Yeah. And like, it doesn't show it, but like, you see it in your brain. Yeah, yeah. Well, you see it. <laughs> exactly. Which I don't get why. Like, like, why didn't the frog just keep talking? Because it, like, <sighs> Like, was he trying to hide the secret that animals or Muppets or whatever can't talk? Because that's clearly not the case. Like, because yeah. they make the point later that Kermit was the first frog to ever talk to humanity, which they were like, yeah. that, that, you know, that comes out. Wouldn't more, wouldn't all animals or like yeah. slaughterhouses be like, please don't kill me? Yeah, when he's like screaming. <laughs> I don't get it. And here's like, the thing. We're talking about this as if this is a scene. It's not just a scene. This is like a whole part yeah. of the movie. Yeah, they're it's, like chasing each other with scalpels. Oh yeah, and like, yeah. There's a scalpel. A lot of sword scary fight. imagery. Yeah. yeah, there's a whole a Kermit, a Kermit, and the, the scientist eventually start sword fighting with scalpels, mm. which is a reference earlier in the movie when they're in a movie theater and they're playing. Um, they're at a movie called. Um, what was it? Swords on Fire? Yeah. Or so, Swords of Fire? Swords of Fire. And it's not even it's not even Swords of Fire. It's a, a movie from 1948 called The Black Arrow yeah. or something like yeah. that, which is weird why they relabeled it. But yeah, like there's all these things in the movie that are like kind of interesting and mm -hmm. cool, but it's in a 
G-rated, like, Jim Henson's straight-to-video film, and there's yeah. evisceration, like, and not only that, the act, like, there's a whole musical number in the pet scene, which is actually probably the best part of the movie, because it reminds yeah. me of an actual Jim Henson Yeah, production. it's like a real production. You're like, oh, wow, they, like, tried a bunch. <laughs> and the point yeah. is, hey, don't be in the swamp anymore. You want to become a pet, because when you're a pet, you don't have to worry about anything. You get free food. It's yeah. great. It's decently so, clever. All the animals inside the, it, like all the frogs that were about to get um, dissected, mm -hmm. they think they're going to this brand new, amazing life, right? And then it just turns out they're like gonna get murdered. And yeah, when they find out, it, it, it's horrifying. <laughs> because no, because they, they, like, they think they're, they're going facing to the, the mortality. Like, like it, it, it's kind of, it's up there with um, All Dogs Go to Heaven, um, mm. uh, Brave Little Toaster, mm -hmm. um, yeah. uh, movies like that, where it's like, uh, um, uh, Land Before Time, mm -hmm. mostly the Don Bluth films, when you think they're going to this promised land, but they're actually going to the, the garbage dump or wow, hell or you're something. Right, yeah. And, and not, not, you know, and I don't want to put, you know, mm -hmm. this awful movie on the same level, but <laughs> yeah, I'm whoa, so, whoa, like, yeah, that, that, be that's careful. a really good plot point, but it's like, you don't see it coming because everything else yeah. in this movie is just so bad. So there's that, that <laughs> redemption arc for yeah. Blotch. Yeah. He Blotch. starts out as the bully. Comes a good then, guy. then he sacrifices himself to, to save goggles. Oh, not just that. When, when the the scientist assistant, who's been this like like his like this girl in the whole movie, um, they have this like illustrated picture of a frog with its guts open, but it's clearly Kermit the Frog, like out there, like he just got filleted. And I really want to know what a real like Kermit being dissected alive would be like. Yeah, would there just be like stuffing or uh, we I should, don't know? Hmm. Yeah. Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Alright class, and today, my star pupil will demonstrate the dissection of this here frog. Fozzie, come here please. Ah, uh, yes sir. Fozzie, what's going on? Oh, I'm about to get an A in biology. Fozzie, get me down from here right now. Oh, I'm sorry Kermit, I cannot do that. Fozzie, begin. Hey Kermit, what punctuation mark can be found in the body? I don't know Fozzie, what is it? A colon. Ah, waka waka! Oh, good grief. Oh, 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 stop. oh, 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 what body part hurts the most? I can't breathe. The pancreas. Ah, waka waka. Ozzy, please stop. Hey, Kermit, I'm a liver, not a fighter. Hey, hands off, bud. But, uh, you got anything to drink? Uh, I, I have, uh, some IPO. Uh-oh. Uh, uh, Kermit, everything will be okay. Just bear with me. Ah, wow, oh my god, he's dead. Sorry, earlier in the movie, uh, Blotch is, uh, like, beating up goggles. Mm. Usually with, like, a kid's kids thing, like, uh, they allude to the violence, or it's, like, one kind of punch or something. He's just sitting there beating the tar out of Oh, yeah, of he's, like, do, 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 Just do, do, punching do, do. and punching and punching, like, really blatantly. Yeah. And, 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 just, and then the pet store owner is like, oh, that's just nature. It, like, he says, like, oh, that's... It, he says something so weird, he's like, oh, he's not gonna break that up, I guess? Oh, yeah. and then he, he does separate him from the rest of the tank, mm -hmm. but he puts him in the, the cage with a snake. Like, was he trying to feed them to it? I don't know, but it's a snake that has makeup and glitter, like this drag queen snake. I, I don't know. And then he, like, pees poison onto it? Yeah, they did Very a good of, running gag with the poison. Poison pee? Yeah. A lot of that going on. Mm. So, wow. So, so then what happened? So... So then Kermit Ooh. talks. Kermit talks, and then the scientist redeems himself. I forget where the flashback happens of like the old thing. If it happened after, I think it's before. after he talks. It's after he talks. And he's like, and he, he's happy that he that he wasn't crazy. And then all the other frogs start talking like, like, please, please, no, please, no, please, no. And then the rest of the class is like, yeah, let's be free. And then like everyone's happy again. I guess I don't know. And th and then there's also that that subplot about the the pet store owner like. Gee, oh. I sure wish I could find me a dog. And the dog is like, gee, I sure wish I could find me a human. Like, real subtle, guys. Yeah. <laughs> Wonder where this is going to go. And then, then he, he adopts the dog after yeah. he hears it talk. Would you adopt a dog that you, like, literally just came to the realization that animals could talk and were completely sentient? Because, like, he, they hear it. They, like, look down and they're like, oh, she's talking too. <laughs> you want to be my dog? Yeah. No. No. I feel like we just talked about 20 different movies. It's weird. This is one film we're talking about here. And also, I'm looking at the DVD and there's all these special features. Have you watched any of these? Um, we watched the blooper reel, which is actually at the end of yeah. the credits. And the bloopers, I remember you said this before, that of most Jim Henson projects are yeah. actually really but, great. Well, like all, all, um, the, all, the, all the, the, the early to mid 2000s, like straight to DVD Muppet movies, which mm -hmm. are all bad. They all have blooper reels because I think they realize that's the best part of the movie. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's the only like genuine humor. Yeah, yeah. 
So it's got a, a commentary with Kermit and Horace. There's a behind the scenes feature at Wait, so, Horace the Fly? I, I don't know how that works. Sounds but, good. So, so there's a behind the scenes feature. Is there anything, any information that this could give us on like what they were thinking when they made this? What, wh- how, what brought them to these decisions? <sighs> oh, I know um, exactly what. Uh, Muppets from Space, 1999, big old flop. Mm. They didn't want the property anymore. They were in the process of uh, potentially selling to Disney. They said, uh, let's do it, low budget, straight to DVD, and Kitty, because Kitty stuff sells. Right. That's but, what I'm thinking. But the dissection stuff, like, what about all that? I really don't know. I couldn't tell you that. <laughs> no, no, no. I, I guess I'm lost there. Well, so, like, who would, like, I wish there was a, a commentary with one of the creators to just be like, so we were thinking of taking this dark direction. Like, I just want to know, I just want to hear it from somebody's lips. It's like, what? What was the decision here? Like, why did this happen? Like the same guy. Like, was it the same guy writing the butt jokes? Who's also <laughs> writing the dissection scene? It does feel like it, it, it's like a like several different movies. Like, I don't know if they just put scripts together or just said, you know, let's just put that in there because who cares? Mm. But I'm surprised it got a G rating. Yeah, I, I I don't understand it. Like scalpel fight scene. That like kinda... I, I've seen movies where it's like, mm-hmm. oh, like one too many butt jokes. PG. Like anything gets a PG. I don't even think they put G movies in theaters. Yeah, anymore. yeah. There's no such thing as G. It's 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 yeah. a defunct rating. Isn't that crazy? Is it like different for straight yeah. to DVD or something? Straight to stars? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's this crazy thing. And R movies have gone more extreme. Like there's so much they get away with in R now. Still, they just can't call a movie NC-17. So instead of making an NC, instead of allowing an NC-17 rated movie to go into theaters, they'll just make the R-rated movies m- so extreme they might as well be NC-17. Right. I don't understand. No. It's just, there actually is a documentary about uh, the MPAA. It's a pretty good documentary, and basically it's it's all about how inconsistent they are and how it's sort of like secretive how they even decide on these things and like who gives these ratings. It's just a weird, uh, like the MPAA whole like situation is just so weird. I like MPAA whole. MPAA a hole. That would be a good MPA name for the uh, I don't know. This movie was really upsetting. And, <laughs> yeah, and, pretty and, disturbing. And, and compared to the high water marks of like Muppets Christmas Carol, oh, yeah. Treasure Island, even mm-hmm. the Muppet movie, which is the Muppet Caper. Ca- caper. Oh, the, the, mm. Lots of the, I, I would say eight cinematic masterpieces. Mm. Yeah. Just 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 me, you know. <laughs> so yeah, like those are all good. I guess when they went like uh, how many other awful Muppet straight to video movies are there, do you know? Um, there's this one. There's a Very Merry Muppet Christmas movie, which is a TV special. There was Muppet's Christmas Letters to Santa, which was like the most cashy any cash in ever. It's the single worst Muppet production, very possibly. Mm. Uh, Muppet's Wizard of Oz, that was another uh, another TV special. Oh, that could have been so good, too. The Wizard it could have been, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, I mean, like, Christmas Carol and Treasure Island, those are two of their best mm. movies. But they, uh, you know, they, they cared. They tried. Mm-hmm. They had Brian Henson himself directing yeah. it. Like that's a big part of it. Mm. Like after, there's like, even a Muppet Babies episode where they were Wizard of Oz. So it's yeah. like, that was good. Yeah. And no excuse. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Don't know. It's, yeah. it's it's just. I mean, it's really. It was Muppets yeah. from Space. Like that kind of uh, that bummed them out. Mm. And then they sold to Disney, and then Disney didn't know what to do with it. So they had all these just kind of side extra cash projects. Well, I guess mm. we went around that with some Muppet stuff. Um. Well, what's your favorite Muppet movie, and who's your favorite Muppet? Um, gee, well, I, I, I mean, I like the original Muppet movie, and I also really like the Jason Siegel reboot. I thought that was pretty good. Oh. Um, and uh, my favorite character has always been Fozzie. Oh, Fozzie Bear? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Well, let's see. I'm probably going to go... I might go... Christmas Carol I watch every year, so I might go Treasure Island mm-hmm. just for the hell of it. And... Mm-hmm. Um, Definitely Sweetums is my favorite. Maybe Sam the Eagle. Those are some classic characters. Mm-hmm. I have a super hard time with this question. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> like Sorry. like Treasure <laughs> Island and Christmas Carol are like so good. Um, I might just go with uh, Muppets Take Manhattan, though. Mm. Oh, okay. I yeah. really, really love that one. I, forgot, I always forget about that one. Yeah, it's a good one. Yeah, yeah. I th- yeah and uh, Gonzo. Which is the first Gon- one where you ever see their like whole bodies? Probably Muppet Movie. They've been okay. doing that pretty much forever. Mm. I mean, it probably even happened on the show. Okay. From time to time. G- Gonzo was definitely my favorite as a kid. Especially yeah, like yeah, that yeah. one book where he like destroys the book. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Really? You don't no, remember no, that? which one? There's a Gonzo book where it's like he's like super Gonzo and he's like tearing the pages out and it's like this whole like self aware book about like. Oh, you mean Grover? Grover. Oh, come on, Wait, man. Grover Gonzo. <laughs> yeah, Gr- no, the monster at the end of this book. 
Yeah. And oh, its sequel, yes, yes, yes. Another book. book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Dor- right yeah. I keep confusing Get them Get it now. straight, man. Yeah. Oh, these, all these oh, damn blue those... Muppets walking around. Know, right? Yeah, with the gold uh, uh, binding. You know? Yeah, like, yeah, that's a yeah, oh, yeah. That's yeah. I have it. I actually read that to my daughter. Yeah, I had yeah, that book. Grover yeah. I liked as a kid. Yeah. Gonzo's all right. Mm. He's all right. Yeah, I mean, I was, it was tough because I did. I, I like Gonzo because he liked all the weird stuff. Um, but Fozzie was the one that, you know... He would brighten your day more because no matter what's going on, he's always going to be telling his jokes and trying to like, you know, he's always trying to make people laugh no matter what. Yeah, and he's like insecure about it, but he never quits. Yeah. yeah. That's what's so good about him. I hate Elmo. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. I did yeah, so. Okay. <clears throat> I guess, how do you want to close it out? Where can people find you? Like, what do you, what do you? I just type Arlo into YouTube. Oh. You'll find it. That and like a, that security company. You'll find those two. Look for the blue one. Okay. <laughs> gotcha. Yeah. 